Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get real comfortable. And if you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. And thank you to all of those who like, comment, and subscribe. It's really been helping me grow. I very much appreciate that. And thank you to all of those who send cash apps, super thanks, and book personal readings with me. I very much appreciate that. I love the one-on-one -on -one time. You guys uh, ask some interesting questions. <laughs> Um, let's get into the reading. Divine, please guide me and give me clear and concise messages. Please protect me as I dive into the collective energy. Let us know what we need to hear right now, what's going on around us, you know, in the world. What do we need to know? Uh, thank you very much. Right off the bat, I feel like people are starting to notice how resilient you are. People are starting to notice that you win even either way. Like even, you know, your haters are starting to notice that you win either way. Because it's like, even if they put negative energy into you, you're able to transmute it. You're able to transmute it and it ends up somehow making you better. If you got somebody who you're in a, a relationship with, maybe toxic people who try to make you focus on yourself, it really makes you focus on yourself and then you end up doing better in the long run. You know, somebody's feeling defeated. It's like that episode of SpongeBob where he had the bully and, you know, the bully kept throwing punches at SpongeBob and punches at SpongeBob until they exhausted themselves. This could have been someone trying to literally get under your skin, or this could have been someone trying to energetically get into your head by throwing punches. This could have been a cyber bully, or this could have been someone throwing magic at you, and none of that magic was hidden. They could have sent you demons. You made the demons work for you. Like, you know, whatever they did, it just, you know, it didn't work. It's like, you know, and people are talking about how you're not somebody who wallows in their pain or, they, or their pity. You're able to push through it. You fix your problems. You heal your problems. You move on for, you know, from your problems. A lot of you guys are able to speak on your problems, you know, from detached way. There's definitely someone scared too of your resilience and your calmness and your authenticity. You know, some, it's like, they might want to try to make it seem like you live in the past because you're still going to tell an honest version of what happened. You know, if somebody asks you why you're not messing with this person, this person knows very well you're not going to sugarcoat it. You're going to say what happened and you got this person in fear because they want you to tell things in a light that makes them look good rather than a light that makes them look bad. Some of you guys, this could be someone in your family member that's afraid of how they came at you and they don't want you repeating, you know, the things that they said to you or the ways that they treated you, which is, you know, ironic because they could have just, you know, treated you better if they wanted you to think of them better. But I guess not everybody's that smart. What else did I write down? Yeah, you're easily able to transmute negativity. We got that. I think maybe I'll start with the what's the vibe tarot. I do feel a lot of good things coming in your life. I feel a sense of nervousness. I don't know if someone around you is having anxiety or some of you guys been having anxiety about something like that's through the roof. Like, I don't know. I feel like this impending to do, to do, to do. Maybe you guys are planning something big, you know, or some of you guys, I don't know, what's what's going on? You can tell me what's going on if somebody is feeling anxiety. You guys can affirm that below, too. I'm really good at transmuting negative energy 
or I transmute negative energy or return to sender. <laughs> Some of you guys haven't been doing return to senders though. You've been transmuting it and that's what's leaving these people feeling depleted. Divine, please. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Should we take them all? Okay, it's not that many. Hold on. First card that came out was apology. We got apology, rash actions, insincere. Somebody might want to apologize. They might want to give you an insincere apology. Of course, we're going to clarify that. Um, we're going to see who wants to apologize to you. These are all the same cards from yesterday, so I'm going to not take these cards. <laughs> We're going to put that back. I'll take the apology card that fell. Spirit, please tell me more. Divine, please tell me more. Divine, please tell me more. We got laughter in reverse, though. So, and my left ear is ringing. We got laughter, happiness, joy healing so somebody is safe to say they're not hmm they could be pretending like they're happy and laughing or like they find something funny and they don't that or this person feels like you brought a lot of laughter into their life that or this could have been someone who could have said something disrespectful thinking it was going to make you laugh or they want you to laugh at all like this is given that I was just playing with you type of energy, but some of you guys didn't find it funny and you could have walked away from this person. Divine, please tell me more. Divine, please tell me more. Who's in this collective energy field? Okay, yeah, okay. That kind of clarifies the laughter in reverse. Uh, longing, missing you, let's talk reunion. Somebody is longing for you, missing you, and they want to have a talk with you. They're hoping you guys are able to, I don't know, with this laughter in reverse, I'm getting two energies. Somebody wants to have a serious talk and they don't want you to feel like you have to use humor to, um, disguise your feelings or you know um also there's somebody here who definitely missed the laughter you have and then there's somebody here who's comparing you to um someone else this could be their partner they feel like they don't have as many laughs with that person as they do with you this person is feeling like they get a lot of joy around you some of you guys might also, I can see that here, feel like the sense of joy within your relationship might be leaving. It's more arguing than laughing these days. And it's like you guys might, you're, you're feeling like you're no longer happy with this person and you're wondering if you should move on. I might have to tap into that into a love reading, but take what resonates, leave the rest behind. <laughs> Divine, please tell me more. We got suffering in silence in reverse though. Unspoken desires, real feelings, broken dreams. And that's the uh, energy I was feeling about somebody is afraid you're gonna tell things how it is. Like, you know, rather than give them like an eye, tell people an ideal of how it happened. There's somebody who, they want to apologize just to protect their image. They want to apologize to protect their image. And um, I don't know, they might not sincerely be sorry. This person just kind of wants to they're afraid of the way you verbalize things too. Some of you guys could be writers. Some of you guys, maybe, I don't know, you're professors or you teach or you do something or, or you could just be very good at your words. Maybe you sing, dance, you, you're you expressive. The way you talk, you can really, you know, you can really talk that talk, like, you know, <laughs> and people really listen, you know, 
people, especially in the outside world, listen, this group of people could have like had you written off as just being crazy, just um, being dramatic, you know, holding a grudge. Oh, that's just them. But now that you got people that actually listen to you, listen to what you have to say, now this person is feeling threatened by that, you know? Divine, please tell me more. You know, I'm going to take this card. And we got waves, emotions, worry, fear, and it's in reverse. A lot of you guys have gained control of your emotions, especially since stepping back. It's like these things, that's the best part. You can look at these things without it upsetting you. It's not upsetting you. It's not, you don't have to use humor either. It's like a lot of you guys are coming off as very mature right now, very mature. You're in your power. You're in your element. It's making these people uncomfortable because you're coming off as a grown person, like a girl, <laughs> you're a grown, what's giving grown woman, it's giving grown man, it's giving independent, it's giving, you know, like uh, somebody to be taken serious. You're someone that people take seriously. You're not like, you know, some of you guys at some point could have felt like you had full written on your forehead and it's it cleared up for no and now it's saying on your forehead very clearly grown you know <laughs> please tell me more what else does the collective need to hear right now divine please tell me more what else does the collective need to hear right now We got thrills, okay, thrills, continuous cycles, bad decisions, addictions. And that's coming out under apology here. So somebody could want to apologize, somebody who is having bad addictions could want to apologize. Somebody could want to apologize for lying on you and your life and saying that you were just about the thrills like that and that you made bad decisions a lot of your decisions are aging very well like people are realizing you made like the right decisions and the best decisions for yourself even if you might have struggled some of you guys i see you up and moved with your kid you had a struggle for a minute Maybe like, I don't know, you had a, a, a studio, you went from a studio to one bedroom, two bedroom, whatever you did, you hustled like on your own and you got it. Some of you guys could have even moved in with roommates. You could have moved in with roommates off of Craigslist, Facebook, but you were willing to do whatever to get yourself out of a bad situation. Some of you guys might have even gotten into like, I don't know, stripping adult work and whatnot. You did what what you had to do to get yourself out and there's no judgment here. There's no, some of you guys had some sort of hustles to, you did what you needed to do to take care of you and yours. And people are commending you for that. And some of you guys, you hmm, could have been diagnosed with mental illness, but you did the right thing to care for that mental illness. I'm saying that somebody could have had depression. Maybe meds weren't necessarily working, but you looked into diet. You looked into meditation. You could have tried brainwave entrainment. That's great for like depression and bipolar number one in order. <laughs> Some of you guys are doing better than, you know, people who had your same diagnosis. Maybe some of you guys overcame some sort of ailment too. You could have had some autoimmune disease and you're doing really well. You're up, you're moving around. I'm wishing healing over all of you. Claim that down below. I am in good health. I am in good health, you know, I, I claim that too, you know, but I'm seeing some, you know, triumphant energy. And then it's like a lot of people wouldn't even know that you had these struggles if you didn't tell them or if they didn't know, like some of the people could have 
Uh, I don't know. Some people could have treated you like you were seeking sympathy, you know, just with your struggles. But that's like not the case here. A lot of you guys weren't putting those on other people just because you told them, you know, doesn't mean you needed their sympathy. But somebody wishes that they would have gave it to you even though you didn't need it. And that's the crazy part, too. <laughs> Divine, please tell me more. I love when it's a flow and I could connect to that, the energy. Divine, please tell me more. Oh, and we got divorce, ghosted separation, and that's coming under laughter in reverse. I told you somebody was thinking about separated. You know, I'm hearing that Yvonne song. Is that by Yvonne or is that by Josie? Don't get me wrong. That now that we're separated, we can't stand one another. We used to be, I don't know. If you know that song, you can tell me down below. I, I'm hearing that. It's separated and we can't talk one another. I'm hearing that too. That or like I said, some of you guys, you might be laughing, kikiing with your little work husband. Your little work husband might be thinking about leaving his real wife because of the joy and the sweetness you bring. This person, like I'm saying, somebody is dealing with a tyrant in their life. They feel like it's nothing is ever good enough for this person. Like this person is coming in yelling. They come in with the attitude. This person is addicted to their, their soothing. They're addicted to this person soothing them. Like this person likes the pout because they know that the, 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 their man, their wife, whoever will do anything to please them. What's wrong, sweetie? Well, what do you need now? Rather than like, I don't know. And like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, yo, this might have to go into the love reading, even though I'd be trying to get it out when it's there. And I know a lot of you guys are like, I don't have a lover. What are you talking about? I'm like, baby, take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. I know a lot of y'all are healing. A lot of us are healing. A lot of us, you know, once you heartbroken, some people stay celibate for the rest of their lives. A lot of you guys are not diving in. You waiting for, your, not even your husband. Some of you guys are waiting for your husbands and wives. Some of you guys just plan to never date. You're officially monks and, uh, what is that? Uh, the Catholic Church monks and with the headdress. Oh my goodness, it slipped my tongue. Sisters. <laughs> none, none. You're nuns now. You're, you're spiritual nuns. You're married to Jesus. I know that. I know that. But there's all types of energy here within the collective. You know, I've always attracted all life forms and I've always loved all types of people. You know, even though I be keeping my distance, you know, and I enjoy all their lives like i'm like you know all of it is all you know interesting to me so you know that's you know i'm feeling that here so we're gonna get some divine please tell me more divine please tell me more divine please tell me more what's going on in the collection yeah, we got, this is coming out under longing, missing you, let's talk, reunion, head in the clouds, delusional hopes and dreams. Somebody misses, <laughs> I'm hearing them say that about you. They miss your little delusional A. Like, you know, like some of you guys were just so fun loving. This is uh, like, they think about you, especially around this time of year in the spring and the summer. Some of you guys could have like, Huh, I'm hearing names that connotate to like flowers or something. Your name could be Lily. Your name could be like, I, I want to say Lavender. But this, <laughs> that's not how they get named Lavender. But you know, it's like it's some of you got, maybe your name is May. It's something about, you know, your name might be Summer. Your name might be Summer. 
there might be something like that. This person is seeing your name a lot. They're seeing your name or they're seeing like references to you a lot. Like, and they're being, some of your names might literally be Rose. Your name might be Rose. People might be seeing flowers and roses and they're thinking of you. It's like, you know, there's something about like, your essence that reminds people around this time i'm trying to uh get that get this maybe you listen to a song around that time or you really like floral print you know there's something about you that people are this person is thinking about you a lot this person wants to be around you this person some of you this could have been somebody you enjoyed going hiking with that's what i'm trying to describe saying i'm seeing like a lake I'm seeing hiking, I'm seeing like a stream, I'm seeing you guys like walking through like nature walks, maybe you like to go on walks with these people, you know, they're, they're daydreaming about you. Divine, please tell me more. Who's, who's uh, longing for my collective? Divine, please tell me who's longing for my collective. I'll take this as a clue. Yeah, tension, stressed out, migraines, worries. Somebody who has a lot of worries is uh, daydreaming about you. Somebody who is like, I don't know, whoever you know has a lot of tension might be daydreaming about you. I should have used the tarot cards for that. I'm going to use the tarot cards. Hold on. After I clarify these cards. Divine, please tell me more. We got today, good vibes in the moment, but it's in the reverse. And that's under suffering and silence. Somebody wished that they would have just enjoyed the moments that they had with you rather than trying to turn them into something else. Some of them could have tried. These could have been people who tried to parent you. Maybe they tried to turn it into a teaching lesson. I'm looking like, because why did my baby hair curl up? <laughs> I was exercising. Either way, I'm still, I'm still cute. It's, it's giving. I can see why some people like fluffy baby hairs. I was seeing that little um, fluffy baby hair trend. I'm sorry, I be getting thrown off. <laughs> but that, it's suffering inside. Divine, please tell me more. Divine, please tell me more. Healing, self care, introspection, meditation. Yes, and this is coming out under waves and emotions. A lot of you guys got your emotions under control. Nobody can pull the strings on your emotions anymore. Some people used to feel like they could, they must, they used to enjoy poking at you to get a rise out of you. And now it's like you're, you're meditated, you're, you self care, introspection. A lot of people, as I said, they're impressed by your self-care. You're, they're impressed by the way you've healed yourself, like, you know, and the way you're spoken and the way you have this calmness, but seriousness about you. Like I said, it's giving grown, like you take care of yourself and you, you're taking care of yourself, like, you know. Let's pull some tarot cards so I can see who is this. Um, Divine, please tell me who's longing for my collective. Divine, give me a clue. Who's longing for my collective? We got Gemini energy here. Some, somebody could be a Gemini or it could be a Jupiter root planet. And then we got the feeling powerless, unproductive, victim mentality, trapped, restricted, helpless, and prison. And that's under the the uh the tension card came out, the stressed out card came out. Somebody who is longing for you is definitely somebody who feels trapped. They feel trapped, they want your help, they want um to whether this is emotionally, mentally, physically, they want to escape to you. Like, oh, I just got a flash of this too. Some of you guys, this is your your ex, and this is specifically a same gendered ex. Like it's like if some of you guys could have had a relationship with the, you could be a female who had a relationship with another female. I hope that word doesn't bother anybody. A woman who has a relationship with another woman. 
or you know, man, but that was a flash of it. It doesn't have to be. This could be different people. This could also be your siblings. This could be a brother, a sister who feel like they're in a bad situation. This person could be living on somebody's couch or they're going from place to place because they're not able to find stability or this is somebody who feels trapped in their stability. Like this person is in a bad marriage and they're uh, remembering all the fun that they had with you. Your life is looking fun. Your life is looking free. This person might want to come around you and cheat on their little husband, cheat on their wife. They want to have a night out, pull some hoes with you and like, and feel like, you know, cut loose. For some reason, they feel like you're the only one who can help them cut loose. Not, I'm not saying you have to, or you want to go back to this energy. Is, you know, that's up to you. I'm just reading the energy that's there. Next card is the devil and that clarifies it. We got the devil card here and that's discontent, limitation, access, trapped in bondage, materialism, addiction, restrictions, powerlessness. We got helplessness. We got powerlessness twice. Somebody wants to come around you and and they want to gain your sympathy. They want relief. This person could feel trapped to somebody else who's not as, you know, as understanding as you but this person i'm feeling like this person didn't appreciate your friendship before or they didn't appreciate you in some sort of way or they could have tried to i don't know like act like they were better than you in a certain sense but like it's divine please tell me more divine please tell me more responsibility duty feeling burning exhaust exhausted struggles hard work losing concentration yeah a lot of these people feel exhausted like or with their lives with themselves with whatever's going on right now still made difficult choices stuck in the middle hidden information coming to a crossroad opposing forces somebody's arguing over you like you might not even know that this person is like yo it's like hmm and that's with somebody specifically i know when i say you it could feel like you know i'm talking directly to you but somebody might be arguing i should say might be arguing over you and the time that they spent with you maybe you're texting this person and i don't know like, or somebody could be arguing over finding texts in somebody's phone that has to do with you. Somebody could have saved your pictures. Somebody could have saved your pictures and then have your picture as their background, knowing that they have a partner already. And this just to piss their partner off because they feel like you treat them better than their partner does <laughs> take what resonates leave the rest behind delayed catastrophe fear of pain avoiding tragedy and we got the tower in reverse so a lot of you guys you're not even going to be able you're not going to experience the downfall of this energy um, I think I'm going to pull some angel numbers and we're probably going to close out the reading. I really got to use the bathroom, but I'm going to get this done first. If the six of hearts come out today again, I'm, I'm tripping because you guys see I'd be shovel, shuffling the heck out of these cards. I'm not even looking at these. Two cards. Okay, I will. And what two cards dropped out? I said if six, five come out again today and then we got six, five, that's the cards that fell out. I'm putting these cards back because <laughs> I told you I'd be shuffling the heck out of these cards. If they come out again, then they come out again. Divine, please give me the best angel numbers for this reading. But we got six, five, technically five days in a row. <laughs> I was like, wait, why does this number feel familiar? Devon, please give me the best angel numbers for this reading. That's absolutely trippy. 
If it come out one more time, I'm going to tat 6-5 on my... No, I'm <laughs> Age of the Miss for this reading. We got the two of diamonds here. Two of diamonds. Divine, please give me the best angel numbers for this. We got the ace of diamonds here. So two, one. If it's another two, somebody might live in New York, might be in Manhattan, or might listen to Zillia Banks. I listen to two, one, two. What's up? What are you into? I don't know Blair's that song. Okay, seven. So 217, that's the angel number. Okay. Yeah, six, five are next to each other again. And then on the bottom of the deck, six, five. <laughs> oh, we're going to do 217. I hope divine, please forgive me if you really wanted me to pull those numbers again. That's why I showed you the numbers. You know, if you guys want to look into that, I'll look deeper into 6-5 and what it means and and whatnot. And I posted about the 6-5s on um, the community tab. I posted the meaning of the 6-5s and whatnot. I should get my little cartomancy book and read each, like the two of diamonds, the ace of diamonds. That's, you know, that that's winning basically. Two of diamonds, I believe that's like a partnership and getting money. I, I'm a little rusty on these. The two of spades, I believe spades have to do with air signs. Seven is luck. I said the two of spades. Seven of spades is luck. Ace of diamonds, that's like you're telling me to take 70 more steps. I already did my, what is it, 15,000 steps for the day. Hold on, I won't make you wait. Angel number 217 is a message that, is a message from your angels that your positive thoughts and affirmations are working and are now manifesting your wants and desires into your life. Continue doing the spiritual, emotional, and mental work you have been doing as they have as they are having positive effects on your life the angels encourage and support your spirituality and are with you for guidance and assistance whenever you ask for it trust that you are living your divine path and fulfilling your life purpose and soul mission life works itself out in many ways it, uh, in ways that we could never have thought of thanks to our angels. Well, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully I will see you next time. It's always a pleasure and have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading.